What an absolutely fantastic guy, Frank Zappa. And we'll have more of that interview next week. Now it's time for a report. Before we go any further, Harvey James and his wife, Christine, became the proud parents of a baby girl recently. Little baby has been named for an interview. Let's have a look at part two. This time we talked to Frank about video and today's band. See what he thinks. Let's pick up Frank Zappa at his home in Laurel Canyon, just outside of LA. Think about the younger groups today. What are your your ideas on them? Do you think music today has progressed? Uh, are you enjoying today's music? Well, I don't listen to the radio. And I don't consume uh, pop music, but most of the contact that I have with what you would describe as New Wave or uh, Today's New Groups and stuff is on MTV, which uh, I don't know whether you have it mm -hmm. in Australia. Oh, we know of it. Okay, we know what it is. And they have all these endless video clips, most of which resemble each other very, very much. And the problem with video music is that when you look at something, what you see tends to take precedence over what you hear. And so consequently, a lot of the effort that's gone into the video clips has gone into the visualization of certain theoretical ideas contained yeah. in the songs. Most of the songs are built on very boring theoretical ideas, so the amount of imagery that you're allowed to use, given the restraints of uh, censorship on television and so forth, it comes down to a very... Um, small uh, language of images mm. you know you have close-up shots of women's mouths yeah you have shots of girls closing car doors you have shots of um, guitar players making faces going mm. like that when they hit the high note you know you get this it's like uh, baby talk visual language and they have all these baby talk visual language cliches which are uh, chopped up and in, into an assortment of boring things mm. I think and as far as the music uh, supporting what those boring images are, most of it is imminently forgettable. And uh, that's unfortunate because I like music and I like movies and I like the video and I like all that stuff. But I, there have been very few things that I've seen that made me feel like I saw something and heard something that was worthwhile. Everything else seems um, to be in the realm of four-minute commercials for the album they're trying to sell and doesn't have very much to do with uh, video music as an art form. In a capsule, you're not over impressed. Well, <clears throat> that would be a fairly accurate. <laughs> Very shortly, and Frank Zappa, as you know, in the last two weeks we played part one, part two of a long interview we had with Frankie Baby, as we were at his house most of the afternoon. Top bloke, and we've got today part three, and this is the final part of the interview. This is where he talks about upcoming albums, what he plans to release in future, and also his touring for the future, and that could be a surprise. Frank Zappa, but we'll have a look first at You Is What You Is. <laughs> 